Stage five in Suffolk and again in bright sunshine. And another opportunity for Olaf Koy and Jumbo Visma potentially to do something very rare indeed, and that is win five consecutive stages of a stage race and who would bet against them. In the white jersey, then, the man who won, ran uh, the race leader, Olaf Koy, very close, Kasper van Uden. And alongside him, Harry Tanfield and Ethan Vernon in conversation as the race got underway from Felixstowe and out onto 192.4 looping kilometres all the way through Suffolk and returning to Felixstowe and a finish along the seafront. When the flag dropped at kilometre zero, the attacks came from the usual suspects, Kern Farmer, trying to get in a move. As ever, TDT Unibet trying to get up the road. St Piran opting to attack this time with Harry Birchill, who moved off the front. And a counter-attack coming from Q36.5, among other teams, trying to get in the breakaway. Eventually, a five-man move did get up the road, but Nathan van Hoydonk and Jumbo Visma very attentive to the composition of the breakaway. James Fouché also alert to the prospects of getting up the road and scooping up more King of the Mountains points in the black jersey. But Bora Hansgrohe were determined to make life difficult for Jumbo Visma, although Edi Schelling, having attacked, managed to uh, neutralise his own attack by taking the wrong turning when he should have gone straight on. Bora Hansgrohe then, with three of their team at least, launching offensive after offensive. They were joined at times as well by Uno X, trying to disrupt the natural authority of Jumbo Visma in the opening 25 kilometers of today's race. James Fouché did get himself in a breakaway. And meanwhile, that break, uh, that five-man move was threatened by the fact that Bora Hansko were persisting with their tactics, joined, as I say, by Uno X, which kept the break very close indeed. And eventually that five-man move featuring James Fouché was caught as they approached the first categorised climb of the day. It did come back together again. The first categorised climb was a Cat 3 climb at Freston. And when they hit the line, James Fouché, at a calmer moment in the race, managed to just dart off the front, was allowed to pick up four more points for another Cat 3 climb. Thereafter, the attacks continued as they picked off the villages and eventually a three-man move went clear with Abraham Stockman for a second successive day from TDT Unibet, along with Joey Roscoff, the American of 36.5, and Callum Ormiston in the second breakaway of the Tour of Britain. They went through the second categorised climb of Holbrook, and then they went through Hadley as a trio of riders with Abraham Stockman scooping up the remaining King of the Mountains points and indeed the intermediate sprint at Hadley. Some absolutely stunning scenery along the way as they uh, crisscrossed the River Orwell and Devon and headed through Suffolk and back in towards Felixstowe with the breakaway now coming under pressure from Jumbo Visma who are riding them down. Callum Ormiston, the first of the three riders to give up and get swept up by Stephen Kreisweik and Jos van Emden doing their accustomed role of setting the pace and keeping the break close. Then Joey Roscoff attacked Abraham Stockman when he detected a moment of weakness and the gap was around about 10 seconds. He built up an advantage of a solo for this solo attack of around about 17 seconds before eventually he too was reeled in. And on the run into Felix though, one or two riders just coming to grief as the road narrowed, but no uh, serious crashes. Jumbo Visma then, a few kilometers from the finish line, completely the wrong line around uh, that traffic island, dropped them to the back of the bunch where Olaf Koy and Wat van Aert had to uh, calmly reassert themselves towards the front as they approached the final kilometer of racing. With Bolton Equities, Black Spoke and Uno X in control, as well as Trinity Racing with a strong showing, Jumbo Visma were nowhere to be seen as they approached Felixstowe, but then suddenly appeared at the front just when they needed to. Nathan van Hoydonk with Eduardo Affini on his wheel, then Wat van Aert and Olaf Koy in firm control of the race as they approached one kilometer to go. Affini then released uh, Wout van Aert eventually, with the Ineos Grenadiers on the coattails of the race leader, Olaf Koy. And it was at that moment that Van Aert then pulled off a surprise tactic. One corner to go, he attacked and held on for 900 metres to take a solo win that was unanswerable and brilliant. Ethan Vernon winning the sprint for second place, but Wout Van Aert taking a solo win with a three-second time gap ahead of Vernon, Cantor, Coy, etc. And that's the general classification after stage five. Van Aert, the 2021 winner, leads by three seconds to Ethan Vernon from Great Britain.